Hi guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to install the Toshiba Stack driver in a non Toshiba desktop or laptop or whatever device you're using because I got problem while using my Wii mode with my Dolphin emulator I couldn't usually connect them to the normal Bluetooth that I'm using with my desktop so this is an illustration how to install your Toshiba stack in a non Toshiba device okay guys so to disable the driver signature enforcement what you need to do is go to start and then just type command you will see the command and then just right click and run as administrator okay now just go to in the description I've put the command that you need to use just copy the one that says disable driver signature copy it and then paste just right click it will it will be pasted here and then click enter you will see the operation completed successfully and now just go and restart your computer so after restarting you will see test mode here that means everything works fine and we're in the test mode we're gonna go to step 2 now okay now starting with step 2 you go to start and then just type device manager and then go to your Bluetooth devices ignore these two the Microsoft one right click on this one properties go to details and then go to hardware copy the second one the one that doesn't have the REV thing so this one just right click copy I'm just gonna go and save it somewhere here I'll save that now let's go back so now we've copied the information of our Bluetooth module next we're gonna uninstall the driver module now so just basically let me uninstall this one first and then this one and the last one delete yes okay now there is something you want to do to disable automatic device driver installation which we're gonna do in step 3 so now moving to step 3 disable automatic device driver installation just go to start and then tap control go to control panel go to system and security go down to system and then click change settings go to hardware device and installation setting and then choose no click save click ok close so we're done with step 3 So now we'll move to the next step how to install the Toshiba stack. What you need to do is I've uploaded the those files just if you're using Windows 32 bit use this one if you're using 64 use this one. So I'm going to go ahead with the 64 next I accept next install sometimes it takes long to install the files 
so a lot of people they stuck in this phase now you're gonna see it's installing then you're gonna get a message saying that please plug in your Bluetooth uh, device or such thing I'm just gonna wait so let it install As you can see a lot of people they stuck here to this message so even if you click OK it's gonna appear again and again and again that's because your computer is refusing to install the driver because you do not have a Toshiba Bluetooth module or you don't have a Toshiba supported device so what we need to do now I'm gonna put this aside do not click OK, do not click Cancel. Go to my computer, go to C, Program Files, then go down to Toshiba, Toshiba Stack, and then go Drivers to the last folder, TOSRF USB. Then copy the file that ends with INF. Copy it and then just paste it anywhere I'm gonna paste it here because we need to edit this file then right click open with I'm just gonna choose the notepad okay now we've got a lot of things here a lot of random things basically just go down and then whenever you see standard stop there and then go down again till you reach the last command in the standard that's not the last command that's 149 that's 150 so just keep going down now that's the last command 200 yours could be 180 could be 150 whatever doesn't matter so what you need to do is you copy your last command mine is 200 so and then I'm gonna click enter and paste it now I'll have to change the new one to 201 the one that comes after that if yours ends with 180 then this, should win, this one should be 181 so what you need to do now you need to delete this ID and put the ID that you've recorded from your Bluetooth module earlier and then paste now we're done with the standard now go to standard NTAMD64 scroll down till you reach the last command that's my last command 200 also so I'm gonna copy this one enter paste change it to 201 Again, if it if it doesn't end 200, just keep this one. If it end, if it ends 180, keep this one 181. Then the new one, I'm gonna delete the ID of the new one and paste the ID of my Bluetooth module. Then the last thing we wanna do is scroll down again. Whenever you see strings scroll down that's just if you want to put a name to your bluetooth device so I'm gonna copy the last one I'm gonna paste it here earlier my bluetooth we changed it to 201 so I'm just gonna I'm gonna give it a name just let's say to Shiva okay now we're done with this step then you're gonna go file and save after you save this file close and then go back copy the new file 
go back to your driver folder in the program files to Shiba. So that's the old one. I'm just gonna rename that to old. Continue. And then I'm gonna paste the new one. Continue. So I've pasted the new one. Now I'm good to go. So I'm gonna go here and then click OK. See now it tells me you want to install. Yes, install this driver anyways. And then click finish. Everything is installed now. It will tell you if you want to restart. Just click no. Then go to start and type device manager. Now as you can see, you can see the Bluetooth Toshiba. Toshiba that's the one that I gave you remember we gave the name to Shiba in the strings command you right click on that you click update driver software then click browse then let me pick from the list and then just click next and then click close After that, what you need to do is go to the files that I've uploaded. One of them says TOS Toshiba Bluetooth Check DLL. You need to copy that and then go to this location program files Toshiba Bluetooth Stack drivers and then the last file TOSRFUSB the same folder that we've used earlier you will see the same file here change this one to old again and paste the one that I've put because if you do not do this step you will get a message that there is a 30 day evaluation period now what you need to do go start and then restart your computer okay guys so after restarting your computer go and show the icons you will see here the bluetooth manager open that you will see Toshiba bluetooth manager and everything is set I've connected my Nintendo remotes here if you want to connect one just click new connection and then click next it will search for a bluetooth device make sure you press the red button in your Wiimote or whatever you're gonna connect to the Toshiba so and then you're good to go so that's how you install the Toshiba stack if you have any question or anything just let me know and just before you finish everything don't forget to exit the test mode so you're gonna go back here I've put this command to go out of the test mode go start and then again command right click run as administrator paste make sure it's off enter the operation completed successfully now you all you have to do is restart your computer and you're good to go you to use the Toshiba stack if you have any question or anything 
how to connect your remote or anything just let me know so that's how to install a Toshiba in a non Toshiba device thank you